want to make the point that we were put out approximately July 20th. And it's now September 20, what, 25th? Ugh. We asked for accommodation because we're because of being disabled. We should have never been put out in the first place. First of all, Angie Stone, the, the former owner of Maple Grove, <clears throat> had already confessed in court that I owned my trailer. It was documented I owned Lot 32 trailer too, which they politely removed and have never given us anything for. Anyways, that's theft. Just because my property sits on your property does not mean you're allowed to just take my property. That's stealing. And when you wrongfully evict me in the middle of a pandemic and steal my stuff, you know, I assume there's going to be consequences for that. Eventually. I have um, tried and tried and tried to work with Department of Health and Human Services. They have made it virtually impossible they pretend to give me help, and then when I tell them, no, I can't do this because it's not a plausible option, they get really mad. I told them, you know, you could, they know that these guys took my trailer. Department of Health and Human Services does. But they refuse to make any exception for me as a disabled person. They know that one of the reasons they put me out was because I sing gospel. And they didn't like it. That's religious persecution. Um... So for them to participate in all that, and which Department of Health and Human Services has, people don't realize, I, you know, I, they already have some of my audio tapes and videotapes. And I have a lot more. My point here is this. We have yet to receive help. I'm disabled. My son's disabled. We have a disabled dog. We actually have legitimate assets that have been wrongfully taken from us without due process. And yet, the court still lets us sit here, homeless. On top of that, on top of that, with us being disabled, you know, we've asked for accommodation. They're supposed to go and uh, help obtain recovery from my property. That's what the court system's supposed to do. You know, I've hollered and hollered and hollered. I have yet to see a, a victim rights advocate. You know, they have the victim rights fund that everybody puts all this restitution money into. Aren't they supposed to give me something out of that and then turn around and criminally charge these people in order to recoup their losses? That's what the system is set up to do. So I don't understand why we are still sitting here homeless Especially knowing that there's a large monetary sum of property that was wrongfully taken from me and my son. And God knows how much cash and personal items were taken too. I know that they could, one of them confessed to me that they took a crap load of pills from my mom's stuff. So what else did you guys take? We know they were caught in my mom's jewelry and all this and that. Where's the victim rights advocate? And, you know, where's us a place to stay? That's what you're doing with the money that you're getting. What are you doing with the money that you're getting for restitution? Because you're darn sure not giving it to any of the victims. So where is it? Because we're still sitting here waiting. With God's love. God bless America. Have a blessed day.